PowerDirector supports complete, end-to-end, 360-degree -end, video editing. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to import 360-degree video, add a title to the footage, track the motion of objects, and even stabilize camera shakiness. Open PowerDirector and select 360 Editor from the main menu. Next, drag and drop your 360 footage into the library. From there, drag your footage onto the timeline and select Create a 360 degree video project from the following prompt. We'll begin by adding a title to the video. Click on the Title Room icon. From here, you'll notice there's a category for 360 titles, inside of which are several title options. In addition to using these titles in your 360 video projects, you can also select any of the other standard titles. For non-360 titles, you'll need to convert them to 360. Simply select one, drag it onto a timeline video track, right-click on it and select Convert to 360 degree title. This will prevent warping and distortion of the title caused by the spherical nature of 360 video. Next, double-click on your title on the timeline and edit the title text font, reposition the text, and much more. If you're using the 360 degree titles, just drag them to the timeline and proceed as normal. No conversion is necessary. You can convert PIP objects, and images to 360 as well. Next, we're going to track an object. Find the object you want to track in your footage, and from the Tools drop-down menu, select Motion Tracker. Resize and reposition the adjustable box in the Motion Tracker, and place it over the object so that it frames it tightly. Next, press the Track button to begin tracking an object. If you're having trouble with tracking an object, often decreasing the size of the tracking box can help. Press stop to finish tracking the object. From here, you can add titles, PIP items and images to the tracked objects. Or track even more objects by clicking add a tracker and track once more. Let's quickly add a title. Scrub back to the start of the track on the motion tracker timeline. Click the title button and type your title into the box, adjusting font, size and colour as necessary. Checking the Adjust Effect Size with Track Object box changes the size of the text as the object moves towards or away from the camera. When you're finished, click OK to return to the timeline where you'll see the motion tracking segment has been placed on a new video track. Finally, let's stabilise the video footage. Click on Fix Enhance. Check the Video Stabilizer box to enable video stabilization. From here, you can increase the number of frames analyzed by increasing the strength. This will give increasingly more stable results. However, do note that due to more frames being analyzed, your ability to preview and produce videos may be slowed slightly. You can also see a side-by-side -side comparison of the stabilization by clicking the Compare and Split Preview option. When you are finished, click the Apply to All button to complete stabilization. Close the Fix Enhance room to return to the timeline.